Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get started with today's video, I just wanted to have a little like one-on-one -on -one chit chat with you guys just for some updates because it's been a long time since I've posted. But the first thing I want to talk about is just my channel in general. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm done making videos for good or I've stopped making videos because I don't like to make them anymore. And the real reason that I've stopped making videos recently is just because I'm kind of in a slump on what to film because when I first started this channel a couple of years ago, my Etsy business was thriving. All of the videos that I filmed were related to my business in some way, like packaging or office tour or et cetera, et cetera. They're all related to my business and that is how a lot of my videos blew up and how I gained a lot of US subscribers. But recently my Etsy orders have kind of taken a plummet and I've just been really struggling to film videos because I don't have as many orders to film or just content to provide for you guys. I know a lot of you guys' favorite videos that I film are my packaging videos, which are also some of my favorites. It's just hard to provide the content that you guys want when my Etsy shop is just not doing so well. I'm not getting many orders at all to film content for you guys. So with that in mind, moving forward, I still will make videos related to my business whenever I get orders, just like today, but I wanted to let you guys know and kind of get a feel for what you think if I started posting more personal videos like things about my college life or day in the life videos of just my life outside of my Etsy shop. My one concern with doing this is that I don't want to lose you guys as subscribers because I know a lot of you are subscribed to me because of my Etsy business because a lot of you are shop owners or just fans of my Etsy shop so I want to do a combination of Etsy related videos and personal videos so I know that along the way I still might lose some of you as subscribers but I hope that you guys like me enough as a person that you'll want to see some things outside of my business and more into my personal life. I just wanted you to know that I love you all and appreciate you sticking through with me and just this journey of, you know, not posting for a while. And it means more to me than you'll ever know. So please leave a comment on your thoughts about this. And I hope a lot of you will stick it out through me and go along on this new journey of my YouTube channel with me. So for today's video, I wanted you all to come along with me and kind of see the process of how I make and package a big order for my Etsy shop. I just received an almost $70 order, I'm pretty sure. And it's the only order I have right now, so I thought it would be fun to kind of go more in depth and in more detail about kind of the whole process behind making an order. I usually just show you guys like how I package it and I'm not gonna go super in depth on how I exactly make my products because I still want them to be unique to my shop and it's important to me that I kind of keep some of my business stuff private, but I did wanna show like more of the process besides just packaging. So let's go. So the first thing I do is pull up the customer's order on my computer and write down on a sheet of paper what exactly they ordered so I don't have to kind of go back and forth between my computer and working. I just have it separately on the side and I don't need to really worry about it. So this order is from Teresa. So if you're watching, thank you so much for your big order. And she ordered, I think nine? Yep, she ordered nine chokers. So I'm gonna write down like all the different like patterns and stuff that she wants. And then we can go from there. So I just wanted to show the reason why I write them down is because I have them based on like numbers which correlate with this picture of which choker so it's just easier to kind of write down like the colors and stuff on here instead of just trying to remember oh like what does number 23 look like and constantly going between the picture. Okay so for the stretchy beaded chokers I I'm going to pre-make like all of the strings that I will string the beads on just so they're all ready to go so I can just string on all the beads at once. It just makes it easier from not having to go from beading to cutting strings etc. So, so I got my lobster clasps, my clothes jump rings, and plant beads, my string, and my pliers. I just finished making all of my like strings so they all have the clasps so they're ready to just like be strong so 
I'm gonna start the beading process now. It's currently 3.20 p.m. So let's see how long it takes me to make nine beaded chokers. All right, little update. It is 4.19 p.m. So it's been right around an hour, and these are the five that I've gotten done within that time. So I don't know if you knew how long it takes to make beaded chokers, but it's around like 12 minutes or so each. Granted, I am watching um, a podcast right now while I do this. So sometimes I catch myself like staring at the screen instead of beading. So there's a little buffer time in there, but I'm over halfway done now, so... I'll try to grind the next four in around an hour as well. It is 5.13 and I finally finished all of the beaded chokers. So this took a little under two hours to do nine of these so for all my small business owners out there it's important to think about how long it takes you to make a product when considering your price point and everything like that so now that they are fully beaded let's do the next step in putting them together okay so the next part of making my chokers involves adding the extension chain to all of them so this allows you to extend the length of your choker so that if you have a bigger neck or just want it to sit a little bit less tight um it will fit for your your neck size so um i usually add around two inches of extension chain to the chokers and i do have in my description of my etsy listings that if you wanted the choker longer or need extra extension chain just to message me on etsy because i can easily do that it's just not all people want theirs longer or whatever so i have my standard length of chokers which is 13 inches and a two inch extension chain so if that doesn't meet your needs then i have people make a custom request for longer so this is how it looks with the extension chain on i just use my pliers and attach it just like that so i'm going to repeat that for all nine of the chokers so now that all of the chokers are made and the extension chains are on the next part is packaging which you guys may already know this part because i have filmed packaging videos in the past but i'll take you along with how i package these bad boys Okay, so I have all my packaging materials here. I have my handmade cards that the jewelry will sit on. I have my thank you stickers and cellophane bags and scissors. So first step is to cut little slits on each of the corners of my cards. And then I kind of stretch out the necklace a little bit to attach the necklace to the card just like that and i forgot to mention i also use these little price tag stickers because that is how i get the necklace to stay on these cards so i'll just use one of these stickers stick it on the back and now it nicely will stay on the card and then take the necklace slide it into the bag and there's this little sticky adhesive on the back that you can just fold over so then it looks like that and then the last step is to use one of my thank you stickers and just place that right on the top there so that is how i package my necklaces with the stretchy string so i'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of these, here are all the packaged necklaces. They just look so good together. I love the chokers that Teresa picked out. I think they look so gorgeous. And now let's finish up the packaging. Okay, so I got my two organza bags because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to fit them all into one. So I'm just going to combine, let's try to do four and five together. So 
I'm going to try to fit, I'm going to have to go two at a time, into the organza bags. Just like that. And then I'll do the same for these ones. And then since this one has five and this one has four, I'm going to put my jewelry care card and my logo card. The jewelry care card just informs the customers on how to better take care of their jewelry so it lasts longer. So like not swimming or showering or working out with it, not spraying perfumes or lotions on it, taking it off while sleeping, etc, etc. So all of my jewelry orders include that and my little logo. So I'm going to slide those into this bag and then the last step is putting a little bit of this like star glitter into the bag. So it just adds a nice little finishing touch and I love the way it looks when it's in the organza bags. So then I just close them up and that is the bulk of packaging. The last thing I do is I have these handwritten, well, pre-written notes just thanking the customer for supporting my business and how to leave a review and contact me if there's issues. I have all my socials on the bottom. So what I do for these is I just write their name. So this one is for Teresa. I write her name on the top and then since she has a big order, I'm just going to write a little message on the side just giving her an extra personal thank you for me. So that is how the thank yous look. The next step is to print out the shipping label and I've gotten questions about this in some of my other videos. So I just get my shipping labels straight from Etsy. They input the address for me. I just select the item weight and my packaging size and it just calculates the price for me and creates a shipping label. So I really don't have to do much for it. I've gotten a lot of questions about that. So Etsy makes it super simple. So I just then print out the shipping label that they send me and I use a Rolo printer, which is a thermal printer. And I just print it on four by six label paper. So it's like sticky on the back and I can just peel it and stick it on the package. Let's print the shipping label. <laughs> Now it's time to finish up the packing process. So I do have a bigger bubble mailer than I normally use just because she does have two organza bags of jewelry. So they wouldn't fit in the other bubble mailers that I use. So now I'm going to stick on her shipping label onto the front of the package. And then I'll take her thank you card, stick that in the mailer first. And then I will add the first set of, of organza bag, and then the second, just like that. So that way it fits pretty nicely into the bubble mailer. And I peel off the sticky adhesive and fold this over. And lastly, I add one of my stickers right on the front, just like that. So. That is the final process. I hope you enjoyed watching me package this super big order. Again, thank you to Teresa for ordering from me. I hope you enjoyed the more kind of like relaxed, slowed down version of me packaging and making her order. Whenever I've made packaging videos in the past, I've just kind of had to do fast pace because I've had a bunch of orders to get through in one video. But since I only had one, I kind of take my time and be more detailed with you. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means the world to me. And please comment your thoughts on kind of what I talked about in the beginning of the video about kind of transitioning my channel into my personal channel as well as my business. So I'm still gonna do a, hopefully a combination of both, but I wanna be able to make more videos for you guys. And if I'm only getting like an order a week or so, I just, I won't be able to provide the content and the videos that you want. I just noticed my cat was in the frame. So say hello to Maddie. Oh, big yawn. But anyways, I appreciate all of you and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new and check out my Etsy link in the description below. If you saw anything you liked in this video, feel free to place an order and maybe I'll package it in one of my future videos. But I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.